Good morning, everybody. I am working on a window here. So let me um, scoot this down a bit so you can see. I'm creating a, a design on an old, this is an old chippy window. Can you see? See, it's a huge old um, window. And so what I'm doing is I'm going to put a transfer on here. I'm doing a class on putting transfers on on windows but what we're doing first is we're going to create a design on my window here let me scoot the camera back so you can see see so here's part of the window here so you can see this is just an old uh, chippy window and we're going to create a design here so this is a class I'm going to be doing pretty soon so right here see the pattern this is a pattern I already created and right here too I did this last night and it's nice and dry now and what I'm using you can use paint or anything but what I'm using is wax so wax is really good for going through stencils so that is what I'm doing I'm creating this beautiful uh, pattern here with a stick and style stencil which are these ones uh, I sell them in the store so we're gonna do that I'm gonna show you how you can create a really cool pattern here with um, using wax whoops so this is a wax you some names are called gilding waxes so you can use any uh, colored wax of course I'm using a silver wax so all I'm gonna do is I'm just going to brush it on with my uh, little brush here and I do it a few times it dries pretty fast so what I normally do is do my first layer and then I come back and do a couple more layers and that builds up the wax so it gets a little bit thicker hello Annette thanks for joining me and you can see it makes this gorgeous design here so this is one of the classes um, we're going to be putting transfers on windows, on um, old chippy chippy uh, windows. Transfers will go on this, and that is one of the classes I'm going to be teaching. Hello, and hello, Sissy, and Janice. You guys are from all over the place. Excellent. So, but before I put the transfer on here, I wanted to have a really cool design as my background. So you can absolutely do that with stencils. They are fantastic for creating these designs. Um, and these ones are really good for windows because they come in a roll and you just roll it out. I'll show you. You just roll it out and you cut what you need, see? And then you just place it down and you cut what you need and uh, there's a few different patterns and they make these really cool designs so before I put my transfer on I am doing a design here do you have to coat it after to maintain integrity of the wax Rita uh, no in this situation I am NOT coating it uh, wax hardens you typically Typically when I use wax on furniture, which I do decorative waxing all the time, uh, this is your last thing that you do. So this is a decorative wax. They're decorative waxes, gilding waxes, and it's the last thing you do. They don't need to be protected. If you wanted to, you could, but no, they don't need to be protected. And especially in a situation like this where you're putting it on an old window, you know, no one's going to be touching this. This is going to be placed somewhere. It's going to be hung somewhere. Um, you know, you can hang old windows on your walls, right? They make really pretty decor. So, no, once the transfer goes on, um, you, you, you don't have to protect it on windows. But, yeah, typically gilding wax does not need a coat, no. It hardens nicely. So, what I'm doing here is I am doing my first coat of, of uh, wax, and then I'm going to come over it. And I'm going to do it and that kind of builds it up right so if you want it to be just super super faint then just leave this um, just leave this like this and it's gonna be just a just a faint uh, shadow of a design but I want it to come through a little bit more 
than this first coat. So I'm gonna come back. And like I said, it dries fast. So in a couple hours, uh, maybe even an hour, this will be probably an hour, this will be dry and I can go ahead and put my transfer on this. Yes, Jody, they are easy to use. Very easy to use. And they're nice because you can, they're good for small things, right? Like you can wrap these, you can cut these and wrap them around vases and you can decorate your vases uh, with these. So they're really good for DIY projects. I kind of like this silver one because it makes it look a little bit uh, kind of misty, like it's almost like mercury glass. So yeah, these are really fun um, to work with, these stick and style stencils. And re you can reuse this. This is the same one that I was using uh, last night when I did these finished strips up here. So you can reuse the stick and style. It just, it, see, it peels. Okay, can you see the corner? If you guys can't see because people are writing, just swipe and the comments will go away. Um, see, it peels right up. So when you're done, you can reuse your same stencil um, a few times before you need to throw it away. So it's sticking to the glass and that's another reason why people like these because they stick to the surface. You don't have to worry about putting tape down or anything. So they're really great stencils to use. And of course the waxes come in many, many colors, right? It's not just um, the typical metallic colors. There are so many colors. You could do this in purple and turquoise and bright green. Um, I think I even have a black wax. So lots of different colors. Bright blue, dark blue. So I'm almost done my first coat and I'm going to come back and to the other side over here and uh, before I peel this up I'm just going to do another quick coat to kind of um, darken it just a little bit. So I'm going to come back over here and you can see, hopefully you can see that it is now getting darker as I'm putting on a second coat. And then we're just going to uh, pick this up and peel it right off. Now I don't want to put my transfer on until I know that this is dry. But that should only take an hour at the most. Like it dries really fast, this wax. And this is just a um, this is just a stencil brush, so very easy to do this, you guys. And like I said, you can create this on anything, right? You can do this on canvas. You can do this on um, ceramic vases, glass. In fact, I'm gonna do this on a glass vase too. I think I'll do the gold. Uh, so yeah, you can you can do this on many surfaces. So I'm just about done and I'm going to lift this up and show you guys how you just peel it back and it comes right up. 
and then um, you know if you wanted to reuse it you can reuse it three or four times and then it kind of loses its tackiness but you're getting you're getting 15 yards in a package so it's you're getting a lot so it goes a long way Okay, so let's lift this up and see what it looks like. I'll show you guys. So you just grab a corner and you just start pulling. Very simple. You see that? There you go. So it makes a gorgeous design. And I can easily reuse this. There's still plenty of tackiness on it. So I'm gonna reuse that. And I'm gonna put it here and do this strip still. And this is the transfer. I'm gonna be putting this transfer on my window. It's gonna be gorgeous. So, but I need to finish this first before I put the transfer on. I want to make sure it dries. And you can see here, I've got a strip here done and a strip here done. So I need to um, just finish here. I want to do two strips in each pane of glass. I think it's going to look really cool. And it's just going to add, instead of just, just a transfer, um, because that transfer is kind of separate flowers. It's not an entire transfer. Some of the some of the windows I do, it covers the whole window, but this one is going to be a little bit different. So very easy to do this, you guys. Anybody can do this. You don't have to have certain skills. And you can see for the most part, I'm just doing circles. You know, I'm not doing the typical, typical this. You can certainly do this, but that would take a way longer. So this is faster. Uh, Cheryl, how do you seal it? Uh, I'm not gonna seal, you don't have to seal this. This is a window. Um, no one's gonna be playing around and touching with this and uh, typically wax, any gilding wax, you don't have to seal gilding wax. Gilding wax is the last thing you do. Uh, it's the last thing you do. So I'm, gonna, I'm doing this and then I'm putting a transfer on top of this and I do not have to seal that. This is just a window that's gonna be sitting somewhere. When I put transfers on windows, I don't seal them. There's no reason that you need to do that. So, and when I put gilding waxes on furniture, it's the very last thing you do. So you do not need to seal gilding wax. It hardens and stays. It does not need a top coat. And I put this on furniture all the time. I use gilding waxes. I love them. It's surprising. People don't realize that you can use gilding waxes through stencils. Uh, but it's, uh, yeah, I do this all the time. I love working with gilding waxes. You can certainly do this with paint. You don't have to use a wax. If you'd rather use a paint, that is another option. You could be doing this with chalk paint. You could be doing this with acrylic paints. But I just, I like wax because it's shimmer, right? It gives me a shimmer. Uh, Cheryl, what wax are you using? Um, I think this one is the Deco Art. They're in my online store. I have a whole ton of colors. I sell the Primo ones and I sell the Deco Art ones. And this comes in many, many colors. So you could be doing this in purple, uh, turquoise, black. Yeah, people don't realize that the gilding waxes 
uh, they're called they're called um, metallic luster sometimes you don't realize that these can be used in the place of paint they're amazing and what they do is they they're, they're gonna give me a shimmer right it's not like a, a chalk paint if I was using chalk paint it would just be flat it would be matte right so this gives me the shimmer I'll hold this up in a bit so you guys can see what I'm talking about so you can absolutely do this on furniture you could do your stencil on furniture with wax uh, wax this wax is also what I do if I have areas of furniture that are raised like you know carvings of wood I almost always put a gilding wax uh, that is for sure where you want to add some bling if you have carved areas but you know this could be the side of a dresser that I'm doing this on like it, it they're really good for furniture too and it's gonna dry super fast and then as soon as it's dry I am going to put my transfer on here and I'll open it up and show you guys which one I'm using it's just a nice really simple transfer the one I'm using would this work and stay on a bathroom window um, yes I would think a bathroom window should be fine you're getting humidity but this hardens right so what uh, Terry these the waxes harden so yeah that should be totally fine so I think it just needs let me just do another super quick go over and then I'm gonna lift this up and I'll try to bring this closer so you guys can see um, and this stencil there's actually a few different this is only one pattern there's several patterns you can actually do this on um, mirror no not yeah mirrors you guys mirrors um, oh all sorts of things Okay, let's bring this up and see how it looks. I have an old, well, I have a few old mirrors I'm gonna be putting transfers on. Transfers are great for mirrors too, and these stencils. So this is gonna be a, uh, we're gonna do a window, a window transfer class coming up where my booth is. So that's coming up. Everybody gets an old big window and they get to decorate their window. So let's see if how this looks. I think I'll try lifting from here. So now remember, like I said, you can reuse this three or four times. And you can see it's very easy. You just pull it up and the design stays super super easy you guys look how easy that is anybody can do this anybody see and I can feel it's still tacky so I will be able to reuse this um, a couple more times for sure let me see if I can get it back. I'm not sure if this is quite dry yet. Let's see if I can do it up here. Let me grab the other one. Sometimes they can be tricky to get down, uh, to place down, because I have a really long strip here. My strip happens to be quite long. You don't have to make them this long. You can cut these, right? It's a roll. So cut it however you want to cut it. If you think it'd be wor uh, easier working in small sections with these then you can just cut it in smaller sections I'm trying to get this turned so I just 
have you uh, watch here as I do this. So I want to try to get it positioned properly before I lay it down. You can see, see it sticks. It, it's still got this, the stickiness to it. So that's what I mean. I say you can reuse these several times. So you're definitely getting your money's worth, that's for sure. Trying to eyeball it here, see if I can get it even on the glass. And this is all you have to do. Just make sure it's flat. Um, that looks flat to me, so now all I'm gonna do is just tap it down. Super simple. It is all down, it's all down. So pretty soon, so this is what it looks like, you guys. This one here is finished. And this is, remember, this is just the background for my transfer. So there it is. Isn't that gorgeous? That's the background for my transfer. And this is what's going to go on top of this design. So I'm having all this design as my background. And then, make sure I have the right one here. So this is a class. If you're local, I'm going to have a class on putting transfers on windows. This is something, we won't be able to do both of these because, um, this has to be dry, but you are going to get a window. You're going to get a window and a transfer on it. So this is the design I'm going to be putting on this window. There's part of it. Isn't that pretty? So here's another piece. Somehow, I don't know if I'll use all of this. I might use portions of it. So this connects here. And so I probably will only use these top two pieces. That's the great thing about transfers, right? You cut them up and you use whatever portion of it you want. You do not have to use the whole transfer. So this comes in, this is a big one. This comes in four sheets. This actually looks like I've got two of the same. So I'm gonna cut this up and I'm gonna use uh, portions of it on this window. See, isn't that gonna be pretty? And so I'm gonna have this background here, the design as my background. So there's definitely things that you need to know uh, about transfers before you use them. Okay, let me see where I'm at here. So that's gonna be, this is what I'm creating is my background for my transfer. Let's see, any other questions? You need a beater. A beater, what's that for? So you can see this goes pretty fast. And you'll be able to tell the areas that you need to do, you know, that you need to go over again. Now you can just go light if you want to, certainly just do light. But this would be really pretty in gold and uh, well, any color really. Maybe just depends on the transfer that you, you, that you are gonna use. You know, the transfers are all sorts of different colors, right? 
So if I'm using a transfer that has orange in it or purple in it, that I want to, I would like my wax to kind of map match the uh, transfer. So maybe I would do a um, instead of silver, I would do the rose gold. And you can clean this. As soon as I'm done, I can just go and clean this with warm water. So easy to, uh, easy maintenance too. So I'm just going to go over a little bit more here. Almost done. And then I'm just going to uh, peel this up. There we go. It's that fast and that simple, you guys. And I'll see what this feels like. I might be able to use this uh, again. So this one is called Calypso. I think this design is called Calypso uh, in the online store. There, it's that easy, you guys. So let me see, I'm gonna put the other one down. And then I'm almost done. And in about one hour, this will be ready for my transfer. Look how pretty that is. So this is now the background for my transfer. Once I figure out my layout for the transfer. And so this is the other one I was using. It's still tacky, I can still use it. And this is, um, this is now the third time I think I'm using this. So you can reuse these. Now the problem is getting this down straight. Let's see how I do. Here we go, look how easy that was. Easy peasy, you guys. So this one is called, I think this one's called Calypso. So they just see they come in a roll and you just take off what you need, a sticky tacky. And it is that easy to use these and you can put them on anything. But they're great for projects, like for crafting, for DIY, because they are movable, right? They bend and peel and they're very easy to wrap around things. I'm gonna be doing some vases um, so they're easy, they're great for vases because they can wrap. Um, votives, like glass votives, great for that. 
so, so simple to use. And uh, like I said, use any wax color you want. I have to be using silver here, but um, there's so many colors of waxes. So it just depends on the transfer you're gonna use. Hi, April, thank you. Hi, Sandra. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And you can actually wash these, you guys, if you wanted to. If you know, if you wanted to, you could go and wash these, and um, you could put them in the bathtub, and give them a little wash, and then when you set them down to dry, make sure you make sure when you're laying it down to dry, the tacky part is sticking up. You don't want the tacky part sitting on your towel. Uh, what I do is I just I just lay it so that the tacky side is up. then it won't stick to your towel. You don't want it to get all the lint from your towel. So you can wash these and the tackiness does come back. It doesn't disappear if you wash them. So it is definitely worth the money uh, to buy this because it just lasts so long and you can reuse and reuse and um, you know, you get a whole bunch, you get 15 yards in a roll. So this is a lot of creating you can do on many different surfaces. On anything, right? Glass, mirrors, wood, so many different things. I'll see if I can go grab that. Um, no, actually, I don't know where it is. The votive I'm going to be doing. I've got to find that. It's a glass, really pretty glass, uh, kind of like a vase, like a big votive. And so I was going to do that with this with gold and then put a candle in it. So, so many ideas. So I'm just going to put on a little bit more here. I'm wanting it kind of, not thick, but kind of darker. Just because I'm gonna, this is my background for the transfer. So make sure this is dry. If you do this and you're putting a transfer on top, make sure your transfer, make sure this is dry before you place something on top. So there we go. I think it is ready for me to pull up. And I am done the window, you guys. It's that fast. That fast. So I have to decide here which part of this I'm gonna use. So I've got to look at that again and decide. And then I'll cut it down. And the back of this is still tacky, so I could even use this yet again. Thanks, April. I could still use this again, you guys, because it's still tacky. So I'm gonna put it up here, and I'm gonna place it down so that the tacky side is up, and I will reuse this on something. So they're amazing, they just last forever. There we go. So there we go, I am done my this is my background on my chippy old window. There we go. Can you see? Here's the here's the bracket from the old chippy window up there. So 
hard to get the whole window in here. There we go. There it is. So that is what I'm going to do. And on top of this, I think I will use, I think I will use, I think I'm going to do that and no, this. That and that is gonna go probably on the front part here. So it's gonna be really, really pretty. So, and you can just cut these to fit. This almost fits exactly in the pane, in the window pane. So there we go. Once the wax dries, um, that's what I will be doing. And I'll probably go put this on YouTube. So thanks you guys for joining me. I'm going to come back later and do some more projects if you're interested. Thank you.